As spring is approaching, did you know that billions of cicadas are gearing up to emerge after spending a cozy 13 years underground. These insects are known for their very loud buzzing, mating calls, and they are set to make their presence known in South Carolina very soon. News 19's Cassidy Byer explains. Have you ever sat on your porch or maybe in your backyard to admire the spring weather when all of a sudden you start to realize it's not birds you're hearing, but buzzing noises coming from the trees? That buzzing sound you hear in the high in the trees uh, are the males calling the females. Females can't make a sound, but both the females and males can hear. Although cicadas emerge every spring in South Carolina, this year will be different. In this case, for uh, the periodical cicadas, the great southern brood, brood 19, that we'll see in South Carolina, they feed for 13 years. Uh, and then uh, almost to the day, uh, all of them will come out in a given area, uh, emerge, shed their final skin, uh, their immature skin, turn into the adult phase with the wings, fly up in the trees, uh, and then the males will uh, call the females to have a mating party. With over 150 species of cicadas, periodical cicadas like brood 19 are easily distinguished from cicadas we see annually. The periodical cicadas, of which we have seven different species in North America, they're really cool. They, they're about an inch and a half, so they're a little smaller, black body, but bright orange veined wings and bright red eyes are pretty distinctive when you see them. According to Benson, brood 19 is said to hatch between the months of May and July and will be more noticeable in rural or less developed areas in northwest South Carolina. So the way that they basically are successful is they overwhelm nature every, in this case, 13 years. And so we should have millions if not billions where they emerge. These estimates will result in roughly one million cicadas per acre of undeveloped land. I see it where, where they emerge as a sign that this is a healthy e ecosystem uh, if, these, if these bugs, these true bugs are still emerging. That healthy ecosystem could be in your backyard, which is why Benson says there's no need to spray for these unharmful insects. There's nothing to do. There's no reason to spray any insecticides or any of that stuff. It's it's an amazing phenomenon we see here in South Carolina. And again, I would I would sit back and try to enjoy it. Reporting from Columbia, Cassidy Byer, News 19 W LTX. <laughs> Thank you, Cassidy. Now, while I love that these creepy things are called Brood 19, the red eyes kind of creep me out. But okay, these brood 19 cicadas have a lifespan like the average cicada. They emerge, they mate, they lay eggs, and then they die. The cycle starts again, and that's all within about a four to six week time span.